prep zone. Oh my goodness! Price splash down. For all the rain that we've had, we have a dust storm here at North Shore. Hey, what? What? You've entered the prep zone. Yeah, they dusted me off, but I'm with Coach Jimmy Edman. We've got North Shore versus Salmon. I used to call it the Battle of I-10. They're 2.3 miles apart. They're close. It's an interstate rivalry in, that, in terms of what you were talking about, right on the other side of I-10 but it's an intra-city rivalry. This is a backdoor, uh, you know, bingo match, and we're going to see who wins tonight. There you go. North Shore versus Salmon. Salmon early in this rivalry was the winning a lot. Now it's North Shore. Can the Spartans take over North Shore? They're both 1-0. and one and Free game with Coach Sanders. Coach, 1-0. How's that sound? Feels pretty good. So I like it a lot better than the alternative. So it's, it's how you want to start it off. It was a good win for us, so very excited about it. Of course, the schedule is not getting easier. No. Crosstown rivals, rivalry, and you've had the better of it recently in this back and forth. I call it the Battle of I-10 because it's yeah, right, right over there. The yeah. yeah. So uh, what, do you, what do you see out of the uh, Spartans tonight that you might have to shut down? They're very talented. So uh, I know they had a lot of guys graduate from last year, but they got some good players coming back. Uh, you know, particularly skill guys, they're really good. Uh, so I think they're more talented than, we were, than they were last year. So uh, we got to work cut out for us for sure. What are you going to tell your team tonight right before they come out? Worry about us. Do what we've been doing, do what we've been preaching, do what we've been working on, and worry about us. You know, we affect the outcome of the game. So how we do things, how we play, you know, the outcome is going to be decided by us. Free game with Coach Eric Shooter. Coach, you a win is a win. You got a win last week. How do you feel about that that win going into this week? Well, you know, we've been preaching since I took over. We don't care about stats. We care about the alphabet. The alphabet for us is the W. So all we want to do tonight is come out 2-0. That's all we're worried about. This team, North Shore, beat Dutchtown last week. They got to be pretty good, don't you oh, think? It's a great, great win for them. I mean, they go on the road. You know, all the way to Baton Rouge for that win right there. Great win for them. So I, we're expecting a full quarter football game tonight. Hand or hand to kick it off. And it's fielded straight ahead. It's like Jacoby Jefferson right there. Jefferson making a little bit of a move. Right. Trying to get, get a little positive going. Let's see what sound like. Yeah, North Shore defense had a great game last week as they shut out Dutchtown. And that's look, coach, that's a big win when you're on a road like that. Going to Dutchtown, picking up not just a W, but as you mentioned, defense was solid. So first down at the 21-yard line, Cameron Dorsey opening up at quarterback for the Spartans. Handoff inside. Straight up the gut is number eight, Isaac Kasney. Kasney with a nice chunk of change right there. Off tackle pickup of about five. Tell you what, right there, Ty. Corey McDonald, uh, senior offensive lineman, number 52. Beautiful block right there that said that the drive, that uh, block right there at the edge. Awesome. Second down, five now. Dorsey from the gun. Pass complete. That was Granger to Colby on the reception and a first down for the Spartans. Granger was uh, Johnny on the spot, so to speak, or King Colby on the spot, so I should say. Also a senior, senior wide receiver, so seniors coming up big in the first few plays of Spartans. 
trips right, split left, one back with Dorsey. Handoff, inside, Kaznave bounces off one tackle a second, picks up about eight on the run, eight or nine on that run. Beautiful run there right, uh, right there by Kaznave, and once again, coach 52, Corey McDonald, a nice block by the senior offensive lineman. Getting help down there with uh, McDonald is uh, Pittman, Charlie Pittman and Landon West and Trey Hartley doing the grunt work, as we say, in the offensive line. We go empty this time, two to the top of your screen, three to the bottom, Dorsey. Oop, a little premature over there. That's a, that's a snap count issue. Ball, Just took ball, off ball, before ball, the ball was snapped. Yeah, second game, and it, it being it's such a big one across town uh, rivalry, it's um, there's still jitters yet. No doubt, coaches is in the backyard bragging rights is what we got going on right here. Out of back about five yards, brings up second down and six. Dorsey calls for it, handoff, left side, Kaznave. First down. Excellent run by Kaznave. And once again, uh, McDonald handling a nice block. Helped right there, as you mentioned, by Landon West, 53. Another senior offensive lineman, coach. Right now, <clears throat> they're looking real strong running the football, especially to the right side. They, they're they picking on that side. They must have seen something on the tapes. And there's Kasnave going left side that time. So obviously, uh, Salmon Spartans trying to keep uh, North Shore's defense on us right there. The As you mentioned, it had been right, right, right. So look to the left, change up the pattern a little bit. But, uh, coach, they very well may go back to that right side now that they're on the left hash. You're right. Or, or they're oh, right. Oh, they'll be right. <laughs> Uh, bad snap, Dorsey picks it up, under a rush, gets away from one. Got room, coach. Got a little room. Oh, nice tackle in space right there. They're number seven. Jackson, got it. Jackson Fugate. Fugate. Yes, nice job him, by him, but a real good job by Dorsey just even getting back, back to um, the original line of scrimmage. No doubt, because uh, the defense for North Shore, they were definitely uh, going to make life difficult for him in the backfield, but he was able to shake that first tackler, find a little space, and again, like, like we were saying, Jackson, Gate, good tackle right there, open space. Motion. Looking upfield, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, who was number 14, to Colby Drink. Ranger. Ball was a, a little bit behind, almost a nice one-handed catch uh, on the back side, if you will. Uh, John Shop and Jackson Gate. You Gate. Again, Gate. that's the second time we've called his name. And it's fourth down. The Spartans will punt. Nice job right there by the Panther defense coach. Damon Narcisse is back in the punt position. Looking to the sideline for a call, I guess. Ready to go. Is it a fake or not? A little early for that, maybe. We're on uh, the Panthers side of midfield. And there it is, coach, and they're going to come up. They're coming up short. Good bit short there, yeah. Coach. yeah. Well, I happened to say it and didn't think that they were going to. I thought it was still early in this one, and maybe Punton's not the. You play to your strengths, I guess. Right. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe Punton's not the, the thing. All right, first time we're going to see the vaunted North Shore offense. Donovan Wildbacker at quarterback. A lot of motion right here, movement. Wildbacker under center. There's motion, jet motion. Pitches out, wheeling his way 
for a couple of yards is number 20, uh, Robotham. Nice. Cohen Robotham. Nice patient running right there because that, i tell you what, there was a lot of traffic that he kind of had to maneuver through. Uh, it looked like Jacoby Jefferson, uh, number 12 from Salmon, was in on the tackle. Looked to me like he almost cut it back and got something going. Robotham at deep back. He, he's a two-way player. Snap directly to him. He's going to run straight ahead, and he's going to leave. That's going to leave uh, North Shore with a third down and three. Much more manageable uh, circumstance here. Third and three. I'm sure North Shore is looking at that, and they're like, we've got plenty of plays to play both for that. Substitute of a bunch of players right there. Different grouping, and they're two left, two right. Step drop, gonna throw. Wildbacker got his man. That was TJ Coleman who got deep. Wildbacker put it on the money, and there's a first down inside right around the five yard line. Folks, that was a beautiful pitch and catch right there. And let me credit North Shore's O line right there. Kept him clean throughout the pass. He was able to look downfield, find his man, and flip him. From there, Robotham keeping out of the Wildcat, and he's in the end zone. Since you mentioned it, let's give the shout out to that offensive line. Bennett Kasner, Lewis Stokes, Jaden Lang, Logan Dunn, and Reagan Bolin doing, doing the heavy work up there. Coach, that, there was plenty of room right there. They absolutely did a great job blocking a massive hole on the offensive side on the right side right there. Going for two. With that O line, like, why not? not? Why not? Why not? Not hard to do right there. Caught them off guard. And a eight to nothing lead for North Shore here with 6.18 to go in the first quarter. And this one is straight down the hash. Gathered in at the five, straight up the gut. Running hard and slipping down is number 12, Jacoby Jefferson. And uh, he gave uh, Salmon a little bit of room to breathe right there, set the offensive up. And I tell you, tell you what, Coach, uh, for the first couple of, uh, I don't want to say uh, series, if you will, but the, the first few uh, moments of that last drive, they were able to get a couple of nice, solid first downs going on that right-hand side following the Spartans O-line. So the drive eventually stalled. North Shore's defense had something to say about that, but tonight so far it's been about the O-line. On both sides. Indeed. Dorsey. Hand off. Kazname running left side. Going to get bottled up. Stepped out of one, but not another, and there was a loss on that play. Great defense over there. Coach, excellent job right there uh, by the Panther defense, stringing that play all the way out to the sideline, making that sideline another defender. So no 12th man here per se, just 11 in a sideline, but it worked quite well. They strung that play out enough, and we have a timeout on the field. Spartans facing a second down and 11 here in the first quarter. It must be the old hydration timeout. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout, second down and 11 for the Spartans. They've got an empty backfield with three to the bottom of your screen and two to the top. Dorsey calling for the football. Three-step drop, looks, zips it, intended for number seven, Donald Kuzan. And Jacoby Jefferson was down on the left, uh, the right sideline here, and uh, he, he Dorsey slung that ball right there. It's, it no. was either going to be Jefferson's ball or nobody. Well, I mean, Kuzan's ball or nobody. Exactly, because uh, Jefferson was actually going downfield to block. His back was turned to the play the entire time. He never saw that ball coming his way. All right, third down and one. Third, third down and 11, excuse me. That's one plus 10, Coach. That's, that is. Out route Tipped. intended and completed to number 12. 
Jacoby Jefferson. And they picked up about five on that. It's going to bring up maybe more than that. Yeah, about seven. I don't know. Going to be fourth and four. Fourth and four. Seven. Yeah, so seven yards on that one. And I tell you what. My math is not hey, that bad. Hey, look, it's okay. I'm going to tell you the uh, some nice moves right there by Jefferson in the backfield, but the pursuit by the Panther defense was phenomenal. All right. All right. Narcisse back to punt. Will he punt? Apparently that he will. He fakes it. Oh, what a play. But then he kind of didn't get all of it that he wants, but he made a great play of moving the ball out of the way. And I tell you what, number eight right there, Jordan Fugate. Uh, he's out there on the field, and he was actually uh, making the call to our buddy Peter. Peter, get away. Uh, because he, he was heads up, saw it happen, and was like, we can't let this hit us randomly and lose possession. So good job by that young man. Job well done. Panthers second series on the field for the offense. And I tell you what, Coach, uh, big, big uh, pass play, obviously, on the first drive. Prior to that, Salmon's defense looked pretty solid. And then, of course, once the, once the Panthers were inside the, the goal line, they looked good. Snap. Fake handoff. Keep running straight ahead. <laughs> we have a new quarterback, number four, Kyle Williams has made an appearance in the game. I knew we had somebody different. They got many groupings. We're going to the Wildcat now with Robotham at uh, the deep back. He's going to keep it straight up the gut. Cuts and off the right tackle. Him. Down the sideline. Pulls up and gets run out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Nice run by Robotham. Coach Wynn. North Shore was inside the 10 earlier looking to score. They found something on the right hand side. They feel like they can run to that side, obviously, and uh, it's it shows. I got to say, I think they're running away from number 70, Dwayne Coleman. Uh, he's a load. Coach. He's a load over here on this side. He is a load. On their left offensive side, he's a load. We're going to have a timeout on the field with. 4.17 to go in the first quarter, and it's eight to nothing. North Shore over Sally. All right, we're back after the timeout. First down for North Shore. Wildbacker in this particular grouping, offensive grouping, is at quarterback. Three step drop, looking deep, deep ball. Buddy, There's coach. his man, and That's he got it. Down. That's a dime ball, Coach. That, it is a dime. T.J. Coleman. Perfect 10, perfect 10. He put, you couldn't have put it in a better spot. And, of course, reception over the shoulder. Running out of space, Coach. Running out of space, able to keep his wits and keep his feet in bounds. Awesome, awesome pitch and catch right there. It was all about uh, Coleman. You could see if he, I don't, I don't know if – telegraphing the play, but he was looking his way the whole way, and it, it worked out. Bell Airy with the kick, and she's good. And it's 15 to nothing, North Shore over the Panthers here in the first quarter, and 4-10 to go. Hanrahan to kick it off again for the third time tonight. This one's going to be unplayable, and it'll be a touchback, and the Spartans will play a first down at their own 20-yard line. And we've got a flag on the play, Coach. Uh-oh. Are we a little premature here? I'm not sure. It was late, and it, and it came in from a distance, so I didn't even see who threw it. I just saw it land and bounce. <laughs> on the, Never on the good turf. when the little yellow hanky hits the turf. And I tell you here, we're going to hear now from the head man. Personal foul against Warshaw. That's, uh, that's a little chippiness to this, uh, you know, 
A little too early for that. This interstate rivalry, as you say. <laughs> for those playing along, along at home, it's interstate and intracity. So we'll get back with you on that later. First down, 10, Panthers. Handoff. I mean, Spartan, excuse me. Straight ahead. Wait, loose ball? Or he got pushed back? Uh, I think he just got pushed back. He got pushed back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kaznave, no. He got about two yards on that one. I guess he was pushed back. Panther defense doing a good job in that interior defensive line. Second down and eight. From the 37 yard line, trips right, split left. Dorsey dropping, looking, steps up, throwing deep. He's got it. Deep, He's deep. No, oh, man. Oh, no, coach, God. it was close. It was close. He had that man. I'm 18. Is it 18? Yes, sir. It's Jalen Robinson had clearly beaten his man down the sideline. Uh, Dorsey just could not, I mean, he was so far behind him, he just could not get the ball there. Robinson tried to come back and get it, and it was out of bounds. He was, he was so close to the sideline, Coach, he was trying to toe, toe tap right there and catch the ball all in one motion, and that's a difficult prospect at the next level. For sure. Third down, eight, Spartan. Dorsey. Stepping up, stepping up, looking. Going to fire. Almost intercepted. There was two guys there that were close. Looked like it was uh, through the hands, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, 47, Bert Herliska. Uh, Dorsey, a good job right there stepping up in the pocket, but obviously if, he, uh, if he's putting the ball on the money, his wide receivers are actually where they need to be. Right, I'm surprised we haven't seen, because they're all going deep. I'm looking for some crossing routes, you know what I'm saying? I'm also looking for Dorsey to use his athleticism and run the ball. I'm with you. Uh-oh, miss on that one. Going to pick it up, going to run it, and he's going to be bottled up. Oh, he hand pitches his hit back and thrown down. But North Shore's kick return team was all over that play. And I tell you what, the decision earlier to go for it, uh, 48, that, that makes a little bit more, more sense, sense right now. now. Yes, it is. So like I yeah. said, you, you know the coaching staffs are going to play to their strengths given the moment. So Right. And the last two, uh, one snap. Uh, well, one hops. Yeah, a couple of one hops and uh, uh, a near avoidance on the punt. And now, guess what? North Shore is knocking on the door in the red zone. Wheel back under center. Handoff, left side, going straight ahead. Running hard. Huge hit in the hole. Three and 42, uh, that would be uh, Spillers and uh, Rice, Cherry. Rice and Cherry on that run, I'm sorry. Andrew Munro on the Simon Spartans. Cherry on that one. Free massage in the Cherry right avoids two and gets down to the one. He kind of sandwiched himself between them and got down there. Great effort by Cherry. What a beautiful little jump cut right there to almost get in the end zone. No wasted time right here as the uh, Panthers are getting ready, ready to go, ready to roll, trying to get that quarterback, uh, quarterback sneak. sneak, and he's, he's in. in. He's, he's in. in. Touchdown Panthers, and I tell you what, they have really taken this uh, this game. They've taken uh, it over right here. And, and, they and have, they've put their stamp on it. There's two minutes to go in the first quarter, and, and this is a, it's 21 to nothing. Extra point attempt to come from Bell Airy. And it is good. And that's her second point and the 22nd point for North Shores. They have just busted out here 
uh, in the first quarter to a big 22 to nothing lead over Salmon. Hanrahan to kick off. He's had a little practice at it here. This will be his fourth time, I believe. Right down the hash, Jefferson. He's blown dead as it's a touchback. Back to back touchbacks right there, Coach. Uh, so that's a, a nice thing to have for the coaching staff here in the North Shore Panthers. Absolutely. Especially the way their defense has performed. I mean, look, we're, we're about to enter, finish quarter number seven without giving up a point. So, not, and if you're going to make your opponent drive the distance, it's going to be that much more difficult against what is obviously a solid defense. True. All right, Spartans. They've been slinging it the last few times. They're going to have motion. First down, 10 from the 20. Sprints out, passes it. Nice move. Up the sideline with a little, uh, look like a little uh, quick screen out there off of uh, kind of a play action. And Ramon Narcisse there, coach number 17 from Salmon, was able to put a foot in the turf and make a nice move. Positive yardage right there, sets up a second and, second and three. Yes, something they have not been able to do since the first drive is move the football, get move the chains, get first down. Motion handoff. Coming around the end it is Jefferson. I think he gets about one. Okay, North Shore right there. Great job of stringing that play out. Again, using the sideline once more as, as, as an extra defender. That was uh, um, Juan Jacques, he, uh, he really make, make up the ground from side to side. Good linebacker, good outside linebacker here. For North Shore brings up third and three. It's a big play, Coach. It is. Rolling left, Dorsey looking, 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 stringing out the play and finally throws it up and it goes out of bounds. He just ran out of real estate, headed in that direction. Dorsey's Good job by the North Shore Panthers. Once Brings again, Coach Suit was there, making the decision-making really difficult. Yes, they stringing out that play like you mentioned earlier, and just is, the options are, are limited when you can do that. We're looking at some athletic linebackers here, as you mentioned. I mean, they're, they're eating the ground up, and. Uh, Again, if you can get someone bottled up against the touchline over on the sideline, hey. Narcisse back to punt. He gets it, and this one finally gets going. It's going to bounce. Did it hit the man? I didn't I see didn't, it. I didn't, didn't see uh, the official state that. I didn't see it either. So oh, that's going to the first down for North Shore, Coach. Kind of ran by it. It looked awful close, you know. <laughs> it did hit that. <laughs> if I'm the coach up here looking down there, I'm saying to myself, you're not even supposed to be that close. No doubt. That turned into one of those matrix moments that you definitely don't want to have to, you know, on the sideline looking that way. Absolutely. First down now, North Shore, who's uh, – they're three for three. In possession, touchdown, Wildbacker. Three right, one left for him. Dropping, thinking about it, going deep. Complete. This gonna is going to be, be a, a touchdown. It's going to be a score, Coach. It's going to be a touchdown. James Bridges. That time, he waited, he threw the ball, and the defensive back kind of stumbled because he stopped because the offense wide receiver had stopped he couldn't regain and bridges ran it in the end zone just like that four for four possessions touchdown it's and, almost and, and a great job. too easy great job coach by bridges to come back to the ball make sure he's there to receive it and then make the move to find pay dirt Gary with the extra point and it's good it's 
29 to nothing, and there's 28 seconds to go in the first quarter. Hanrahan is going to kick off. He's already had more uh, playing time in this quarter than he did the whole game last week. I guess he's thankful for that. Kick up and at the two-yard line. Jefferson. He's electric, coach. He's electric. Left side. Left side. Going to get run out of bounds and pushed down over there. Number 20, it looks like. Robot going. Robot going. Golly, does he come off the field? <laughs> I don't. I, I'm going I don't like, know. I'm going like, he's playing offense, he's playing defense, and he's on special teams. Coach, if one of the officials goes down, I think he could probably pull out a striped jersey and a white hat and, and play that position as well. He's got it all going on. I'm, I'm going to be really scared if I go down to uh, the concession stand and he's down there at half. That, that's it. Yeah. So ser serving up soft drinks and it's handling business. All right, great best field position of the evening for Salmon at this point. Let's see if they can get something going. Dorsey, handoff. Kasney, running, bottled up. Whatever they were getting to that right side before, they're not getting it anymore. Good adjustments right there by the North Shore Panther defense. Second down, nine. That's going to end the first quarter with the North Shore Panthers taking a 29 to nothing commanding lead over the Salmon Spartans here at North Shore Stadium to end the first quarter. All right, coming out of the switch a room for the second quarter, second down for the Spartans. Handoff. Kaznick stood up. And they, whatever adjustment the defensive coaches over there at, uh, over here at North Shore made, they simply have shut down Isaac Kasnick. Coach, we were talking about Corey McDonald. There were two guys on that side. He can only pick one to block, and guess what? That leaves a, a, a North Shore Panther there free to clean up. And we've seen, we've seen tonight, how quickly the rest of the team will flow to the ball and put hats on, hat, helmets on, you know, the, the ball and take down the, the, the runner. Well, we all know defense wins championships. Dorsey stepping up in the pocket, going to throw. And he's got Dishes him. it off, breaking the tackle. Might, might yeah, in a second. In. Big play right there. Number 17, Damon Narcisse. Gets the Spartans on. Oh, 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 hold on a second. We have the dreaded yellow hanky on the field. Oh, my goodness. That, uh, that negates that, that play. We got holding on the offense. And that scoreless streak by the defense of the North Shore Panthers is still intact. Still intact. Nonetheless, Coach, the Momart Narcisse right there, I tell you what, he was shedding some tackles on the way to the end zone. And uh, even though it was called back, excellent effort by that young man. Yes. Dorsey put it right there. And like you said, he broke a couple of tackles. Uh, I mean, he willed himself into the end zone. Unfortunately for him, it's not going to count. Nonetheless, how impressive is this North Shore Panther defense? Pretty darn good. 3rd and uh, Lacombe right now. <laughs> Indeed. That's a cab ride and they're expensive now. <laughs> you didn't even say Uber. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, motion over, but they hadn't even blown in the play. Ready for play. There it is from the white hat. All right. I'm expecting motion. No, oh, that's two moving at the yeah. same time. Really the that. There you go. Hello. No, it just took a little while. He took a little yeah. while to get that. They weren't out of his listening back to me. They weren't <laughs> listening to me. Yeah. He must have had the back pocket button. Uh, <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Because I clearly had it in red. 
you ready did. to go. It and we got a timeout on the field oh, with 10.54 to go in the first half. 29-0, North Shore over South. Coming out of the timeout, Spartans go empty in the backfield. Motion. Going to take a big play, Q. There's not many in the playbook for this. Nope. Dorsey, complete. Breaking the tackle is Kaznave. And he, get, he got across midfield, so that was a nice pitching catch. But it's going to bring up a fourth and... 15. Oh, wait a minute. There's a flag on the Wait a minute. Another flag? It, it's probably, unless they pick it up, it's going to be personal, personal foul. foul. Whatever that was. That thing under the chin. And it's, oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, spot, I'm assuming. Maybe. So. I thought that was third down, so if that's the case, bring up a fourth. Why don't they decline. call it? Yeah, decline it. Thank you. Are they going to do that? It doesn't look so. It looks like uh, back in right, is he going over to the side. Okay. The White Hat's going over to the sideline, and they're going to walk it back. No. Coach Sanders saying push him back, so that punt thing will be difficult for him. Well, that's... You know, if you're looking at it from a tactical standpoint, it makes total sense. Field yeah. position wide, yes. Absolutely. And you're dom pretty much dominating it. And they would probably have gone for it. Why even give them a chance? Quick throw out there, complete up the sideline. And he's going to get that. Narcisse is going to get tackled over there. So a short pickup, going to bring up fourth down. And look, it's on about the 47 yard line. We had a water. I don't believe we had a water. No, no, no. It's a six minute. It's fourth down. A lot of talking going on, and a lot of people on the field that don't need to be there. An adventure. There's the punt. He gets it away. Yeah, oh, this is a good one, one, nice one. Fair catch. Ball free. Did it touch him? It looks like it did. Let's see, coach. He all of a sudden got away. Did it touch him? He's saying. He's saying. I, yeah, he's saying I think yes. he says. Yeah. I, I think him. it's Salmon's football. Got to. He got to see something from the from the official. But it, the ball was tucked there. That's what they're pointing to. And it should be there is what he's saying. You can't advance it. But it muffed out to there. So it wasn't an advance. He fell on it. Uh, if, if but they haven't signaled it. They're going to bring it back. I don't think that's right. Coach, it looks like that's exactly what the case is. They're saying that that's Salmon's ball. That uh, <laughs> it's where it was initially hit. Well, they haven't signaled it yet. No, they're still having their conversation. But I, I don't say that. I don't think it was hit there either. I tell you, that's a bad spot. No flag on the play. Because no, uh, maybe I, maybe I don't even know. What the, no, no, it's, it's their Shore, ball. North Shore's ball, coach. Must no. not, must not have hit anybody. But must not have hit anybody. All right. So again, what, what I like to say is, what do I know? First down, 10, North Shore. Play action pass in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, number 88, James Bridges. It's almost as he, it, and like he expected an interception out there. Oh, it came through, sorry. And uh, the ball was a tad bit behind Bridges, but Bridges immediately was pointing to himself saying, hey, I'll get that one next time. I, I think I should have gotten it this time. And, you know, look, I'll tell you what, North Shore's receivers have been impressive tonight, Coach. So uh, oh, for, yeah. For them to have that mindset is not a surprise. No. Donovan Wildbacker from the gun. Fakes to Cherry. 
dumps it inside to Coleman. I think he already has two TDs, and now he's got a first down for the Panthers. Coach, I tell you what, I am so impressed with T.J. Coleman. He is just as elusive as you can imagine. He, he can put a foot in the ground, and the next thing you know, that jump cuts there, and he is two yards away, and you're chasing him. He's a gone for gone. Absolutely. Wild back, first and ten. Drop it, looking. Little dump off on the right side, screen pass by Cherry. Up the sideline, one man to beat. Can't do it. Brought down by number 10, Devontae Lombard, but not until he got a first down and then some. And he's going to be out of bounds. Oh, 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 oh. Flag Whoa. Field. Got a flag, Coach. Oh, this one may be coming back. Oh, my goodness gracious. They got some, uh, they got some good. Uh, that was a good good play design. I tell you, that was an excellent play design. They got some good uh, offensive linemen up the field on the screen, and uh, we have a play. And there he marking the spot where it happened. We're going to mark it back. Yeah. So big number 72, Lewis Stokes from North Shore. 5'8", uh, 366. And let me tell you, he was he, he was, was he was a road grader on that play. He was he was up the field and digging in. Absolutely. First down ten. All that what we just saw didn't happen. This pass does and it's complete. Guess who it's to? Coleman. 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 He's still what? on his feet. Coach. What? 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 Did you see that? Coach, he did a little. Uh, he did a little dance around, he a little, did. Did a little did. bit 180, and uh, eluded the uh, Spartan defenders, but he didn't get as far as we thought he did. He stepped out of bounds. Nonetheless, Coach, nonetheless it, great it'd be, play. It'd be hard to tackle him in a phone booth. <laughs> no doubt. Wild back, first down 10. Look it. Passed out there, complete bridges. Stiff arm by Bridges, and it brought down by four uh, Spartans right there. He kind of manhandled that first guy, but not the other three. He That's did, and I tell you what, uh, you know, the, uh, Desmond Beasley went along for a ride right there, but the, I tell you what, he was tenacious. He did not let go from start to finish. So credit to that young man. Snap, throw, complete. Same play, coming back underneath. We got a timeout. Uh, we got a flag on the field as one of the guys did not get off on the other side. That might explain why they went back to the same place on the picture, coach. Exactly. Situational awareness. Good job right there by the fans. Coach, I mentioned earlier tackling on some of the team. I think I'm showing my age. They don't have those anymore, so I might have to find something that's a similar style. Well, actually, I've been, um, I was going to say, I've been at a Shakey's Pizza in a booth and had the phone. So, uh, but I'm still dating myself. <laughs> it, was, it was an iPhone, but I'm still dating myself saying Shakey's Pizza. Uh, right? Yeah. All right, after the penalty, it's second down and eight. Blitz coming, handoff, Cherry trying to bounce it outside, and he gets, number three gets tackled by number three, Demarcus Spiller. He wasn't spilling that one for sure. No, indeed, Coach Caleb Acosta, a senior uh, for the Spartans, also in on the tackle right there, so good job by the Spartan defense. Third down and two and a half. Or is it three? It's pretty tough to tell. It's, it's, a, it's a long two and a half. A long two and a half. <laughs> two and a half and a half. Okay. Wildback, hands up. Cherry, right side. Got some running room. Got a first down. 
Going to be down inside the 25, uh, right around the 25, 26 yard line. Excellent job again on that right hand side for the uh, North Shore Panthers. Uh, big 76, Reagan Bolin. Uh, 6 2, 340 pounds. And I tell you what, he did a great job of sealing that inside right there, too. That's his job. Number 76. Right tackle. And late arrivers. Earl Robinson in the game now. Wild back. First down 10. A high oh, snap. Uh-oh, uh oh Oh, loose ball. Let's see. In let's and see. out. No. Nothing Picked up. Scoop and score. No. Number six, Coy Rogers picks up the errant snap and gets the Spartans a first down right around the 40, 41, 42 yard line. And that's the first time that the Spartans have stopped the North Shore offense this evening. And I tell you what, good work by uh, the sound and defense right here. Number six, as you'd like to say, Johnny on the spot on this moment. Boy, on the spot. First down, 10, Dorsey. At center, I mean, at the quarterback. Waiting for the slings it close. Oh, this got is a, man. a dime. Oh, oh. just tell. over the hands of Donald Kuzan out there. Man, that was a beautiful ball he threw out. He just laid it out there perfectly. Coach Kuzan was on the move. And I mean, just one step away from that big play. That's about 50 yards in the air. <laughs> he slung that it. That was, he, he did. He slung it. He was like, Ooh. All right, I think we have a timeout on the field. 5.58 to go in the half, and it's 29 to nothing, North Shore over South. All right, coming out of the, the high, heat and hydration, humidity, whatever timeout you want to call it. Triple H, bro. The Triple H. Uh, second down, 10 for the Spartans. North Shore showing blitz. Snap. Quick throw out there. Beautiful move, Coach. Yeah, look like a stutter Narcisse. step by Damon Narcisse, and he gets by the initial uh, would-be tackler and gets six, and it's third down and four. Makes it a lot more manageable, but I tell you what, third and anything against his more deep, much more deep points has been tough. It's very tough. That being said, Salmon has the athletes, Coach. Thinking they can pick this up. This is definitely in the playbook. Third down, four. Again, blitz showing. Handoff inside. There he is. Good ball, Number eight, Isaac Kaznave picks up. They run basically, they were, that was a draw. All the way. Yeah, and uh, pick up a first down. Good uh, recognition there by the offensive staff over there at Salmon to uh, pick up that blitz. Run the uh, little draw action there and pick up the first down across midfield down to the 47 yard line of Marshall. Snap, Dorsey looking, throws, knocked up in the air, picked off on the sideline over there is number five, Darren Albert comes up with that pick after it looked like it was almost going to be knocked down by the wide receiver popped up and Albert had the pick. And I tell you what, uh, uh, Salmon had to get rid of that just a little earlier than normal because of Jackson Gate. Uh, man, pressure off the edge, no time. No time to do anything but try to deliver the ball early and that did not work. Well, just when Salmon like in their opening drive, just when they seem to be getting going, something happens, not for the good. North Shore's defense doesn't like to play defense in their half of the field. That's what has to happen on the They've been not. most impressive. Wild back, under center, handoff. No, fake, gonna throw it deep. God, guess who? T.J. Coleman. Coach. Coleman. 
to the one, Cook. He's down, down at to the, the one. one. Wow. And Desmond know. Beasley ran him down, and I tried to strip him, but T.J. Coleman was saying, no, I'm not giving it up. I thought he was going to have another touchdown, but he didn't make it. He's one yard short. What a beautiful. His handoff, Cherry, stop right away. Number 18, Coach Jalen Robinson uh, for the Salmon Spartans right there was in the backfield with some he came, he came fast and he came early and he came, he came to stop play. him. He <laughs> came to stop In that moment, he came to play, Coach. Three. 44 to go, first half. Wildback. Gonna keep it, going TJ left and throws it up, wide open, picked That's off! Okay. Picked off, a little stumble, he's running hard. And Coleman keeps it from being a pick six. <laughs> what, a, what a great play by Christian Brown, coach 32 for the Salmon Spartans. Uh, the sophomore, and I tell you what, Great job by Coleman. He showed he's got some wheels. So he actually was off balance at the end zone. He's actually able to regain his balance and then uh, not only make up the distance, but make the tackle as well. Christian Brown on that interception, he, he seemed like he was going to have a pick six. And he got out right around the 31 or 32 yard line, and there was like a stutter step, like he caught his foot in the turf or something. The turf monster and, can't get you. Yeah, and boom, what happens? Boom. Like I said, Coach, I was impressed with the uh, TJ Coleman right there being able to make up that ground. But a great play by Christian Brown. Tonight, Coach, we've seen a big play by the Panthers not find paper. Yes, so, yeah, so. it looked like he it looked like Coleman was wide open, and but but Wildbacker was going to his left trying to throw right, and I don't know if that was tipped or whatever, but it came out of there like a wounded duck. Yeah, he was under pressure. Coach. Yeah, there was immediate pressure in his face. Yeah. Uh, he was trying to, he saw, he saw T.J. Coleman out there, as you said, he was opening, you know, he made a nice little curl out and was wide open and all fluttered. So they brought nice it back, play. so there must have been a penalty in here. Wow, the uh, Spartans can't help but shoot themselves in the foot. First down, 10 for the Spartans. On the 25-yard line, motion by Jefferson. Dorsey looking, under pressure, dunk. Coach, that's the second time, second play in a row to Jackson. Uh, Fugate. 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 Yeah. The second time in a row, he's come off the edge right there. And let me tell you, he eats up the ground on the way. And, uh, man, big play. Got an injury on the field, Coach. Uh, we're going to take a little time out here with the injury. And the score is 29 to nothing with 3.09 to go in the first. North Shore up over South. All right, coming out of the timeout, the injury timeout, Dorsey, empty backfield. There's motion by Jefferson. Drops and throws. Deep one down the sideline. Oh, Coach. He's gone. Man, oh man, oh man. There's that touchdown. That was Jacoby Jefferson on a, a rocket, rocket shot from Dorsey down the sidelines. I was thinking to myself, he's overthrown me. I, I was, as it was going, he's overthrown me. And Jefferson just kept going, didn't give up on it. And boom, that strike gets the Spartans 
on the scoreboard. And I said earlier, Coach Jefferson was electric. I, I suppose that he proved me right right there because that was impressive. Didn't break stride. Dorsey with a great. Uh, Fantastic. Work. Yeah. Baja, Barricat to kick, and it's good. Barricat makes it 29 to 7 with 246 to go in the first half. Barricat to kick it off. This Robotham about the 11 yard line coming around the right side and he's gonna be tackled down. Play action. Complete. Bridges steps out of one, picks up a first down. So first down. With that completion, that's a North Shore Panther. First down. First down, 10. Quickly. No huddle. Wildbacker. Play action. Pitches like a little. Fake one way, come back the other. Little misdirection, and Bridges carries it. That play almost got blown up, but didn't. And a pickup of about seven right there for Bridges on the toss. Looked like seven for Simon right there. Donald comes in, coach. He's uh, brave enough to stick his nose in and make the tackle right there. Because I can promise you, we're going to be at you as we will see. It takes some dust to do that. Oh, pass, going deep. Picked, Picked off, and number seven. And, you know, got oh, him. man. The last two series now for North Shore's offense that seem to be going like a freight train has kind of slowed down at the station, if you know what I mean. You know one thing. Uh, Dorsey, Dorsey's got the, the arm to do it. We know Jefferson. There's a flag on that play. The guy that went in motion was looking back as if to say, I can't go till the ball snapped but then he abandoned continuing to look back and went, went in motion, so we've got motion. It's like he didn't have the patience to stay with it. <laughs> yeah. It's like that time that I was at uh, Independence and the team doctor came up to me and said, hey, I think I'd like you to start the game out with that play, and he told me what the play was, and I said, uh, Doc, you're not calling my plays, and I'm not taking any of your patience. <laughs> All right. First down and 15 after that penalty. 
Blitz about to come off the right edge. No, he drops back. They threw complete. No. A little too soon was Jamie King with that reception. Nice twist right there by uh, the Northshore's defensive front and uh, a little bit of pressure. Ball very quickly. And honestly, brings up second down. But he, uh, he tried to move up the field a little sooner than catching the football. Got to catch it first. But right. Okay. Put it away. Thank you to go in the hat. Dorsey, look it. Up pick. Too high. Sailed on him, too. He did. What kind of? We've been kind of in a, a, a pick phase. Both teams picking each other off here on the pass. Absolutely. I, I look. I, I, I realize we have uh, you know color, color patterns and white and dark with navy blue and you know white and black. But they are all right. They're not the same. Right. Throw. <laughs> that's true. Throw it to your man. While back under center. Handoff, straight up the gut. Cherry, good running up in there. He, he runs the way. He shot the middle of our cherry. He could like, uh, see the end zone and a good, a good tackle right Pick there. Pick up of six, down second down and four. Pick up of six, second down four for the Panthers. Handoff again. Stutter stepping through there. And brought down is Cherry after a pickup of one. That's Third it. down, three. <clears throat> that was big for Wayne Coleman, coach. <clears throat> Number 70 for uh, Simon. I think we have a timeout on the field, and the score is, coach. It is 29 to 7. 50 seconds left to go in the half. 59, Simon 7. Coming out of the timeout, playing a third and three are the Panthers. 50 seconds to go. First half. Fake. Wildbacker's going to keep it. He's going to come up short. It's going to be fourth and I'm guessing about one. Fourth and one. 29 7, 30 seconds left in the half. Yes. <clears throat> Hand up. Straight That's ahead. It's, it, was, it, it was. It was. It was robot. It's going to be a score. It was robot. It was the. I was saying the handoff, but it was a direct snap to robot in the wildcat, and he just cut up the middle. Might have been a little trap block or something, and he was untouched into the end zone. Skipped all the others. That's it. He <laughs> Extra point attempt up, and it's good. Twelve seconds to go, coach in the half. It's 36 to seven. North Shore Panthers over the Salmon Sparks. Ethan Hanrahan ready to kick it off. I think he's got his work in for tonight. He might be good till next week. What do you think? I, I think he might be nice as a uh, handoff. No doubt. Straight ahead. And Salmon, we're going to get tackled right around the 12 yard line. I mean, 32 yard line. Excuse me, it was 12. That's what I meant. Jacoby Jefferson on the return. He's got some tools tonight. He's got a lot of practice. Yes, it. They got the old prevent defense going out there for North Shore with seconds left on the clock. 
seven of them to be exact. In fact, it's, if I look at the clock, it says 007. It Am does. I correct? It does. Bond. It, it, James it, Bond. It would take a James Bond kind of moment to score right here, Coach. Dorsey, quick toss, complete. Stepping out. No, not really. That's going to do it the half. And we're going to go to the half. Coach, give us the rundown. Uh, 36 to 7, North Shore Panthers over the Salmon Spartans at halftime. Second half underway with the kickoff. Onside kick. Uh, it's going to come up short of the 10, necessary 10 yards for a first down. Well, Coach, that was quite a long delay, a couple of back-to-back -back lightning delays, uh, and obviously homecoming. We have an announcement to make, if I'm not mistaken, concerning homecoming. And that is that the homecoming queen is Belle Airy. That's right, the, that's right. The, the kicker. I'm, I'm like, yes, she won. The kick. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. She won. Uh, good, for, good for her. That's awesome. It is awesome. And she was dressed out in her um, in her, her uh, football, football attire. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, wow. It was just like, wow. Congratulations to her. I'm sure her parents are proud as we are. All right. That, I missed that play. Uh, Robotham around the left end, Coach. A good little run right there to start off the second half in North Shore, in the North Shore Panthers. All right, we're looking, we've got a deep ball here, Coach. North Shore comes out, looking, and uh, not able to connect that time with uh, T.J. Coleman. T.J. Coleman brings up second down and 10. Personal foul roughing the passer against the Spartans. Got a personal foul against the Spartans here, roughing the passer is the call, so they'll pick up the first down on the penalty yard. Looks like North Shore, as a result of that personal foul, they're going to bring in uh, Kyle Williams, uh, number four. The first and ten. He's that he's that quarterback. Yeah. So we had these delays, and I was talking about Bell Airy being the homecoming queen, and things just have just taken off here. The second <laughs> half is just boom. After sitting around for a while, that is on the ground. Ball. And it is. And it is Salmon's ball, Salmon's Coach. Salmon's football. Big, on the big ball. turnover right there. I'll tell you, that fumble notwithstanding, Coach, uh, North Shore's Coach Bobby Sanders, he's, he's got to be uh, pleased with the first half, I would say. Oh. No doubt, no doubt. Well, they, they're get, they're giving uh, Cal Williams a little uh, uh, work here in the second half. I mean, they're up big. Uh, but Salmon, let's see what they've talked about at halftime and what are they going to do. And remember, Cal Williams also plays defensive back for the Panthers. He's out there now on the near side. Got a, more than a few that go uh, both ways on both sides here. Iron Man football, Coach, Iron Man football. Old school, leather that's helmet right. football. That's right, that's right. Who needs a face mask? That's right. Dorsey, Cameron Dorsey at quarterback from the gun. Salmon's first possession, second half. Quick step. We got a flag on the we play, We got coach. motion. We got motion. Ball start. And a, uh, a theme from the yards. first half is carried Brings over to the second half with the uh, with the uh, flag fest, so yeah, flag with, fest. With the Salmon Spartans committing uh, penalties, unfortunately, for them. 
So the good news for Salmon is when you when you go up against a really good squad and it looks like North Shore is a good squad coach. That's when you get better. That's when you can see your deficiencies and when they get into district play. Uh, that's that's when they're going to say, you know what? North Shore's pretty special team and the guys we're going to see on Friday nights are not North Shore. Jack Jackson Fugate on that tackle. We've called his name a few times. <laughs> You're right. I, I agree with what you said. Coach What Jack, did you say? I'm uh, sorry. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> well, I wasn't even listening to myself. <laughs> so Jackson, yeah, Jackson uh, Fugate, number seven. He has been in the backfield. There he is again looking. Uh, they run opposite away from him, and it's a big run, Coach. It's Isaac Kaznave. I tell you what, he was dragging, hard. dragging defenders with him right there. Coach. Good hard running by Kaznave. Yeah, the stands with the delay. Uh, there was a little rain, and uh, and with the two lightning. Delays at halftime has, has become kind of sparse. And the score. 10.36 to go, third quarter. 36-7 Spartans. Dorsey. Three-step drop. Looking He's going deep, deep Up the sideline. Slinging it out there. Incomplete. And well defended right there by the Panthers. Good positioning uh, by the DB on that side. Uh, that looks like Jordan Fugate, if uh, my eyes are not mistaken, but I'm not sure because that's a, a long way across the field from my eyesight. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Equally as tough to read the numbers on the far side of Dorsey. Second 10. Handoff inside. Kasnick running hard. Right side. Still First down. And I tell you what, that was a rugby scrum right there. He was pushing the pot. Right he side. did. Good hard running by Kasnick yet right again. He's Kasnick. a bright spot for Salmon for sure tonight. That and, I mean, <laughs> the one touchdown that North Shore has given up, Coach. That was a phenomenal pitch and catch. Yes, it was. But how good is that North Shore defense? Pretty solid. Pretty Considering solid. we're still talking about that pitch and catch. Here we, here we go again, Going coach. deep again. Well defended if, into if, double coverage, coach. Right. If I have something I would say about Dorsey, he's got a heck of an arm. Man. But he needs to know where to throw well to the receiver, not just 32. throw it deep. You know what I'm saying? And I think the like, word and the term is throw the receiver open, Coach. Correct. Put it put it where the receiver is going to be. Yes. And because uh, the last two times he hadn't beaten the deepest guy, but if he back shoulder throws him right. underneath, he's got a completion. Oh, and big Ooh. hit right there in the middle. Kaznave tried to take it through there. And that wasn't going to happen. Uh, man, that was that, that was impressive. Dijon Jack right there with the stop. Got to say that the numbers are hard to read. Smaller <laughs> and harder to read on uh, North Shore than they are for, for the Spartans. Third down, 11 Spartans. First. Offensive possession, second half. Three-step drop, delivers, complete on the sideline. And knocked and out that, of bounds. That, that, I tell you what, that was uh, a good play, play call right there Dorsey's into, into the pressure coming Dorsey's from uh, Jackson Fugate. So they basically threw where he wasn't. Because right. He was bringing the pressure right there, so there was space left behind him. And they put the ball into that space and got a nice, nice play for a first down right there. Narcisse with the catch from Dorsey. And we have a first and 10 for the Spartans. Cameron Dorsey, quarterback. Handoff, going left side. Dancing out around. Isaac Kaznav gets pushed out of bounds. Coach, do we have to say it again? Good, hard running by Kaznav right there. Good blocking as well on that left side. Uh, Kaznav is a good size, man. He's, he's a, a load. load. 
He's a bull. And uh, looks like Jalen Robinson on that side, number 18, uh, was actually doing a good job blocking downfield right there. So well done by the Simon Spartans. Second down and two from the Spartans. At about the 23-yard line. Here comes the deep pass. That looks like a guy. He looked like he got bumped ahead of that, but no call. No call on the play. Dorsey's pass incomplete. Well covered by the That'll be third down Deuce. and short for the Spartans. They're in two down territory, I can tell you that right now. For sure. At this moment of the game with this score line, two down, no doubt about it. Down to 10 seconds on the play clock here. Handoff, Kasnay, Bullen, first down. Couple more steps. Stiff arm, tight walk, touchdown. Coach, what a great jump cut in the hole right there. Shed it, he was able to shed a tackler, and then as you said, tight rope Isaac down the sideline. A little stiff in the arm in the middle of all that, and he gets in the end zone. Whole lot going on on that play, showing his athleticism, wasn't it? Not to be denied. Extra point to come from Barake. Baja Barake. And there it is, and it's good. Coach, 36-14, 8-10 to go in the third quarter. North Shore Panthers over the Salmon Sparks. All right, barricade to put it back in play. Another and again, onside. onside kick. And North Shore falls on it. It went to 10 yards. Uh, Required, but North Shore's got it, as you say, and I tell you, that's good field position for the Panthers to start out right here at the second drive of their third quarter. So uh, I'm assuming Coach will see uh, Kyle Williams again, but I'm not certain. I'm looking out. Yes, there he is. He's back out there. Uh, I don't see that. No, he, I don't he see is. him. No, no, coach. It looks like uh, Wildback. Yes, it does. Donovan Wildbacker is back in. Uh, I guess he, uh, I guess he recovered from his free massage that he got earlier on that rough in the pass. Uh, no. Long ball up for grabs. And I tell and you what, coach, uh, Wildbacker was planted right there on that play. And, uh, He's showing his toughness getting up, but man, that was one heck of a lick that he took. Wow. That ball almost was kind of a jump ball. Wildbacker's going to take a break. He's going to, they're going to have to check him, and we got a timeout for me. It's, is it the heat humidity? It is not. It is a timeout by North Shore, it would seem. Oh, okay. We have an injured player. Uh, uh, injured player, coach. All right, after the injury timeout, we got a second down four. And it's Robotham, huh? Is that him? Uh, it, it is. He's running the wildcat. The wildcat coach. again. And there he look, coach. He's elusive. He's still spinning. He's moving down the sideline. Another he's move still out trying of to get more. Instead of get out of bounds, he tried to cut back. They don't have an answer for the Wildcat. I can tell you that. And I tell you what, he's he's a special back back there running that formation. Uh, he, he's just like a, we, we mentioned this earlier with T.J. Coleman, how elusive he is. Well, uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for a pass out of this. Robot. We've, had, we've had nothing but runs. That's Sorry true. to cut you off. No, no. I'm waiting for a pass out of this. That's the movement. Hard oh. count work. Oh. Nope. Guess who's back in? Wild back. I tell you what, he's tough, Coach, because, I mean, he took a lick on that last, the last play he was in. You have five yards on the hard count, so that works. If you're the North Shore Panthers.
First down, five. Panthers. Wildbacker looking. Going to throw. Deep man Not open. In. Touchdown. Bridges. What a great play call right there. And I tell you what, uh, Wildbacker had every right to have some happy feet right there given the last two plays he had been in. So he stood in the pocket right there, didn't flinch, kept his eyes downfield, found his wide receiver, and it's Pater. And again, it, it, I mean, he, I don't know if there's other people out in the route that was, but we knew he was going to Bridges the whole way. Oh, he didn't look off of him, Coach, but as we mentioned, if you can play pitch and catch like that, you can stare down whoever you want to stare down. That is somebody's offside on that. That's <laughs> a tip penalty right there. Yes. Offsides. He took a Sunday stroll before it, the ball was yeah, snapped. He, he, <laughs> he was a little premature to this part right here. The invitation said seven. He arrived at 645. <laughs> and Bell Airy is on. Homecoming queen on for the extra point, point. coach. Kick is up. Kick is good, and how good is your homecoming? Well, You're the queen and the extra point kicker, and you've got some points in this game. And it's 43 to 14, Coach. 7-18 left in the third quarter. Kickoff by Hanrahan. Return, Salmon. Number 32, Christian Brown. Tackle around the 36-yard line. First down. So uh, both teams have a score here in the second half. Indeed, uh, the last time Simon was on the field, it was the Isaac Kaznave show. Man, I tell you what, it was quite a show too. Uh, he is, he, as we said, Coach, he's a load. He's tough to bring down, and he was he was running angry on that last uh, series. First down, ten. Panthers. No, Spartans, what I'm saying, Panthers. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, we've, we've been through two lightning delays. Coach. Yeah, well, so this I, happens. Yeah. Everything's delayed. <laughs> Cameron Dorsey. Dropping. Lots of time. Going to scramble. Looking. Got a man on the sideline. Complete. Steps out of bounds. That was to Jalen Robinson. There's good pressure right up the middle, Dorsey's Coach. But I tell you, Cameron Dorsey right there, right. nice job of uh, – Finding a way to his left, a little bit of open space, able to turn, square shoulders, and complete a nice little pass for six yards. Second down. Long four here, Coach. Four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> if it's under five, it's four. That, that's Apparently. It. That's what it would seem. Yes. Dorsey. Got the signal from the sideline. Drop it. Got a man coming underneath. Pick. Almost oh, pick. I, I, I spoke too soon, Coach. Yeah. But I, I tell you what, that was awfully close. Close. Jordan Fugate. Fugate. I'm going to get the name right at some point in time Fugate. tonight. Fugate. Fugate. There's few of us Fugate. and there's uh, there a Fugate. We go. Right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Coach. That, all right. was, no that problem. was eluding me tonight. That's all right. Um, and that ball was eluding the defensive backs yeah, right there. That's right. But they almost picked it off. Nonetheless, Jordan Fugate with a nice break on the ball right there and almost a pick six. Hand off. Kasney, left side. Going to be run down. That's, that, I, my apologies. That was Jacoby Jefferson uh, on the carry. Coach, another quality athlete. For the Salmon Spartans, it looks like Kaznave's coming back in. I suppose after that last drive, uh, he needed a breather, an extended breather. It's going to be fourth down. There's no doubt. There's no punt in this situation. No. Fourth and a very long three. Draw yes, play, Kaznave, first down, running hard, still on his feet. Wow, that's some tough running right there. He got about close to 10 yards. 
He's on impressive. fourth down. Impressive. And let me tell you, North Shore did a great job of putting a hat to the ball. The issue was. There weren't the, enough hats. It's a guy with the ball. That's, yeah. That's the there issue. There weren't enough hats. So from a coaching standpoint, uh, Coach Sanders has to be pleased with the way his team, the tenacity of his team. But, uh, you know, if you're Coach Shooter, you got to really love the heart and tenacity of. Time out on the field. Oh, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it back Four, to you. 43 to 14, North Shore Panthers over the Salmon Sparks. Back to the action. And there's been a lot of it here at North Shore. Dropping the throw. Under pressure is Dorsey. Slings it out there. Complete. In incomplete. Oh, incomplete. Just, I'm sorry. It was head it tangled, in intended for Donald Cousin. Uh, it looked like uh, Jameer, uh, Jameer Bolden had some pressure right there for the North Shore Panthers right up the middle. Uh, a great job, actually, um, by uh, by uh, Cameron Dorsey to elude pressure and put the ball where it was supposed to be. Second down, ten. Draw play again. Kaznave up the middle, running hard, getting yards. And that looks like a five-yard pickup right there, Coach. He is, he's been impressive in particular in the second half. Right. Pickup about right. five, brings up third down and five. Still in two-down territories, trailing 43-14. They're going to be going for it on fourth as they did last time. Step drop, thumps it off, over the middle, going ahead, fumble, but then recovered. There's a flag on the play out there, Coach. I can see it tossed from about 30 yards. Oh, no. Devon Narcisse on the reception, then fumbled, then it was recovered, and then we had a flag. Maybe not in that correct order, but that exactly. That's, that's the end result. It's coming back. Holding against the Salmon Spartans. And that's going to turn a third and five, yes, which was manageable, into a third and long. Third and that's more than that was at holding. Whoa, man, that penalty is huge. Indeed, third and five to third and twenty. Uh, yes. that seemed like a it's fifteen yards, seventeen yard penalty. Yeah. I don't want to that get one. that one. No, no, no. I've been wrong before. Ball's down on the ground. Dorsey looking for help. Delivers it to Kazanave. Wrapped up. But oh my gosh. He, oh. he was pirouetting <laughs> with some guy at his ankle. He was. He you was. You cannot. Fugate was at his ankle. Yes. You can't do that. You can't ankle tackle. No. No, and and Fugate, tenacious as he was, I mean, it's just he did the job. He didn't right. get the first. Right. So Fugate did the job. And he but, did. But that being said, that's a tough job. It is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you like being drug around on the on the turf. But fourth down. Fourth down and about 17 at this point. Dropping the throw. Complete out here. Sideline. And it's going to come up short of the first down. Uh, a turnover on downs here, Coach. Yep. And North Shore will take it over and stop in the clock wide. Come. Turnover on downs. First down, North Shore. 349. And to go, left to go in the in third, third quarter. quarter. We still have another quarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is the agony and the ecstasy. The we, we ecstasy don't have was to. early with all the scoring. Now it's mm -hmm. agony as it drags. As we had the the safety precautions, you, which we, is good. But. We might not need to worry about the lights here on Friday night. We might see the, the break of dawn here soon, Coach. <laughs> cool. 
dumped it. It complete. You can't get up and run, DJ. But nice try. <laughs> He's Complete. thinking next level, coach. Yeah, he is. You know, yeah. or actually the next next level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he's two levels off. But watching a lot of TV, it's marked shy of the 50. Pickup of about five on that play. Second down and five. He may have video game moves, but he 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 can't use the rules from the video games. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Head oh, fumble oh, picked oh, up no. in that air. Oh, wow. And what a play. Botham <laughs> with a little bit of a mistake, but I thought uh, number 58. Yes, Dwayne, Dwayne Hartley. Hartley. I think Hartley was in on that play before the play even. He almost got the handoff. Coach, it was a pitch, and it almost went to him. Yeah. It was a mishandled ball, but, right. man. So Spartans with the football again in this half. <laughs> Let's see. What awareness by that young man as well, because you know you're you're looking to get into the backfield. You're not expecting a ball to be loose and in the middle of the air right in front of you. So it's for him to actually snatch that out of the air and maintain it and advance it. That's pretty good work on that play by him. Awesome defense that time. First down, ten. Dorsey, three step, under a rush, backs up. Throws it long, jump ball. Did he get it? Oh, gee. Uh, he brought it down. The question is, was he inbound? Oh, they're saying incomplete. I tell you what, that was Don't awfully close, pass. Coach. It was. So it, it, quite the hit, both feet Seven came down. Ten. The only question was, one was in bounds, one was out of bounds, and which one hit first? Right. I guess the uh, and the guy pushed him out. So would that have been? I, 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 that's probably an old school move, right? <laughs> yeah. What I will say is the effort was excellent. So good pressure by North Shore's uh, interior defensive line right there. Uh, going right up the middle to cause Second, havoc. Speaking of up and the middle, flag, they coach. were going, oh, not again. Not again. Coach, if we have any more flags on the field, we might as well start second line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Let me tell you, North Shore's got a heck of a band. We could that's, strike that's that good. group absolutely, up. Absolutely. Uh, we absolutely. could strike that group up and get down. Brings up second down and 15. <laughs> 44 yard line. Well, coach, many, many years we've had some eyeballs on the uh, football in this part of the world. I have to say, this is this may very well be the best North Shore team I recall. What? At least in its performance. Yes. One of the best for sure. Wide receiver screen steps out of one, but uh -uh, not another. That was Jalen Robinson on the reception. Some pretty good hits right there. Absolutely. Brody Dukes, number 11, was in on the tackle, as was Mason Pass Reed. Number 18, good job by those two Four young men. Down. Dukes Taylor of Reed right there. Play. Boom. Third down, 13. Third down, 13. Let's make that 14. Lot of offensive plays here so far in the second half by the Spartans. Uh, only one of them has resulted in a touchdown. Under rush, the rush. Dorsey gonna fling it on the ground. And coach, he was under duress immediately. Dorsey he had immediately. three guys in the backfield. Uh, you know, his initial inclination was to break one way and he was fortunate enough to be able to use his athleticism and get outside to his right, but man. That, that was what you call high pressure. <laughs> it was. And he didn't have a sprayer at the time. No, he didn't. So uh, Jackson Fugate was one of those people on that rush as he's been Coach, apt he's been, to be all night. He, he's been in the backfield on more than one occasion this evening. Would you, might you say that you thought he may be playing offense for Salmon? <laughs> He was he's in the backfield a lot. You Dorsey right. gonna roll to his right. right. Yourself, young man, and he does. So that's on gonna be a turnover down. on down. Another, there, coach. another turnaround. Another defensive stand. I gotta say, North Shore defense. The last, I don't know, 
six or eight minutes, we've been on that section, this one third of <laughs> section of the field. Yes, near the near the the center circle. Right. But leaning left <laughs> on your screen a little bit. Coach, we're right down uh, almost at the, the two-minute warning of the third quarter. <laughs> normally, no, please normally, don't warn me. Normally, <laughs> normally that would, we would save that for the end of the first half of the end of the game. But uh, with, yeah. with the hankies tonight, it feels like uh, we needed a two-minute warning. The second game jitters. Hand up going outside. Running hard. And another hanky, Coach. Row Botham. And... Uh, no shortage of those. I can. I don't know. Is it at the end of the month and they have a, um, a sale? Do they have a sale down there somewhere? Yes, yeah, that that yeah. of course. Sale on Does yellow it. hankies. <laughs> the market spill. Do they have right to? Do, there, they have to flow so many by the end of the month. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I can tell you this: they've met their quota, whatever. That's, it was. that's what I was thinking. Do they have a quota? Because they're like, <laughs> oh. That, that holding was one of the few mistakes penalty-wise for the Panthers tonight. Oh, we're back in the Wildcat. Robotham, you know he's going to come up with something. High snap, gets it one hand, goes left side. Going to get yardage, going to go further. Going to get up the sideline. He will. He could go, go, go. He just ran. I mean, he's been playing both ways. He just ran out of gas around the five-yard line there. So Demarcus Spillers was the the Salmon Spartan that saved the touchdown right there. He was also the young man who made the tackle on the prior play. So he's been busy, but man, Robotham, give that what man a break. A play right yeah. there. Wow. Give that man a break. Bring him to the sideline. Get him some uh, water. He's not running to the sideline, I might add. <laughs> oh, no, he's, oh, he's not. He's, yeah, barely jogging. He's, yeah. Come on, it's hot out there. He's played a lot both ways. So, yeah, run on a guy at the last minute to be the tailback. That's good. There we go. And we're going to quarterback sneak it? Okay. I guess because they had gotten up and we're going to run a play. Right. The guy running on would not have known what the play was. So mm, that's just true. So, but that being, that being said, uh, if I'm if I'm Coach Sanders, I don't think I want uh, Donovan Wallbacker. Uh, yeah, he's coming to the taking side a, taking another no. hit right there, and that one was almost needless. But <laughs> guess who's back? <laughs> one sip of one going, sip of water. Going, yeah. Time to go to work. Yeah, oh, I can get it from here. Give me a shot. We follow this guy. Uh, Nothing doing there, no. Coach. Uh oh, coming back. Rugby scrum. You know, Rugby scrum. And we look. We talked about number <laughs> seventy <laughs> for Salmon. Um, I, I mean, Coach, he is a low Dwayne Coleman. I mean, it's a it, look. You might run around him, but I don't envision people running through him. It's the end of the third quarter, and the score, Coach. Forty-three for the North Shore Panthers, 14 for the Simons Spartans. We flip, we flip the field at the end of the quarter here. Um, Wild back ground. Oh, bad and another snap. fumble coach, who's gonna recover it? it? Looks like Salmon Ball initially. No, 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 no. no. Robotham. No, no, not number 60. <laughs> I thought it was Robotham at first. Number 60, Casey Carstens comes up with the ball. Casey on the spot, Coach. Casey on the spot. Casey at bat, too. That's it. But here's an um, interesting no thing. Shore. The man went in motion, and when in the ball was snapped, it attempt. hit, I think, Robotham. It looked like it did. Yeah. So here comes the homecoming queen. That's right. Bell Airy. Right. And look, this, is a, down. this, this is, is a pretty uh, sizable field goal right here. Add to the night for her. Oh, bad uh, snap. Oh, and then quick. Flags are on the play. Somebody, might, somebody, might ran, somebody ran a little, a little a hasty. That's right. A hasty pudding, I think. <laughs> it was offside. Oh, again, encroachment by Salmon. So, 
So now her kick will be just a tad closer. Okay, she's going to move up. It's going to be. We got to move it up. Let's see where she places the tee. I was going to say, Coach, she's five. standing in the same oh, spot. Five. Yeah, I was going to say, they're not moving the ball. <laughs> and it's like. We mentioned that they were deliberate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and slow. <laughs> yes, we did. This will be a 30 yard. Oh, we got a timeout. No, he, he, oh, or stop the clock or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Wind the clock now. Okay. Fourth down. I don't know what the referee was doing there, but it's going to be a 30-yard field goal by Bell Airy. Homecoming queen. Okay, Bell she just Airy. Yeah, well, let's don't get ahead of ourselves. That's good. You're right about that. 29-yard line. 29-yard field goal attempt by Bell. It's a fake coach. And he's going to run it. Oh, comes up short. But he did he? No, it was fourth and goal. It wasn't that. So kinda, I wonder if that was a fake or he it, saw that it, the people had come through. Honestly, coach, it kind of looked like they the snap was a tad down. high. And when he went to set it, it looked like the uh, the rhythm was off right because there and she was out of stride. Right. And there was no choice but to pull it and run. I will take that under advisement. <laughs> so that opportunity. Is that your story and you're sticking to hey, it? Hey, you know, yeah. it sounded good in my head, Coach. It sounded good in my head. I will. Uh, I can't disagree with that. Let's just say that. Salmon starting in the shadow of their goalpost. That's the morning sunrise. <laughs> it's right yeah, over there. Right there. So. Right. They'll be bringing breakfast That's shortly. It. In honor of the queen, we'll have uh, strawberries and cream like at Wimbledon. Amen. Handoff. Left side. Nice tackle right there. That uh, was Jacoby Jefferson on the run. And right Jordan middle, Fugate. on the tackle. And I tell you what, he ate up some ground. And uh, if he doesn't make that tackle, and it was a shoestring tackle, Coach. He was Jefferson going. still running. North Shore defense playing kind of loose, you know, because you don't want to give up a big long pass or something. But. Snap, Dorsey under pressure. We're gonna have guess what? Oh, no, it's gonna be potentially a, intentional no, no, grounding no, in the end be? zone. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be a discussion. Let us talk. Was there a guy in the area? And he's saying, I was in the air. And they're going to say, what did you say? I don't know what I saw. I saw a guy <laughs> over there. No. I thought we were going to have pizza. It's going to be and too there late. Flag. There it safety. is. It's going to be. Grounding yeah, in the end okay, zone. Let's see this. Let's see the signal. He's going like, what signal do I give under this condition? I think I forgot. Uh, let me think about it. Okay. Intentional grounding against thing against them, and it's a safety. So two points, and they will kick off from the 20 yard line. Salmon Spartans going to kick off. All right, from here, Salmon is going to punt it. They get a chance, either one. They decide to punt it. RC's. Taking in at the 35 yard line. Coach, you got a little Running room. hard. Yeah. Was Kyle Williams that gets tripped up. Kick gets it across time, midfield. And we're, look where we are, back in the same <laughs> area of the field. So is it is it a little lower right there on the crown? Is everybody run downhill to that spot and from every direction? I know just <laughs> sometimes games end up in one area for some reason or another. 9.15 to go. <laughs> Seems like 9.15 in the morning. <laughs> First down 10 for the Panthers.
Robach on the Wildcat. Cuts through. Gets some yardage. And never did bring him down. No, Coach. But they stopped him. <laughs> he was squirming his way in every direction. You know, if you Salmon's defense, you were eventually able to turn, turn him the wrong way. But right. I, as I, you noted, I, he didn't go down. I would say at this point in the game, I would think that Coach uh, Sanders probably needs to sub in some uh, some youngsters. Youngsters. I'd be afraid of getting one of these better players injured. Well, and they're more Versus. experienced for sure, and that's and that's the key. Uh, in the past, North Shore's had some quality frontline guys, but not much depth. Had the one hand, it was Robotham, and he's going to get tackled up and thrown down. See, that's what I'm afraid of. Robotham and the Wild Panther. You're going to need him later. Quality sportsmanship right there by 18. Jalen Robinson for Salmon, helping uh, helping him up off the ground, off the turf. Third down. Kudos to that young man. Wildbacker back out on third. Clock is running. It is at seven minutes and 45 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. They called timeout. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the clock stops at 7.40. North Shore Panthers 45. Salmon Spartans 14. Third down now. Wildbacker after the timeout, under center. Gonna hand off, and that one is blown up. <laughs> Number, De wait a minute. Darion you find Jenkins. The, oh. you, you, you tell me who made the tackle on 44. On Ricky Mistretta. Poor Ricky <laughs> got a face full of number 44, Darion Jenkins. Man, that, look, Coach, he was almost there at the handoff. Going to set up a fourth and nine, Coach. North Shore keeping the offense on the field. Looks Getting like the youngsters some work. Yep. Running oh. the clock, more importantly. O-line down. O still in, getting some uh, reps out there. And it looks like Salmon moved, and that's a flag. Oh, my goodness. And the laundry is still being washed. And it get it home, oh no. And it... Um, all Let's just say defense. it was uh, because it rained here. It might be wet too, so it'll have to be dried. Also <laughs> washed and dried. Wow. That's now it's fourth and four, coach, which is uh, much more manageable. That's in the playbook. You know, you go here, you go there. Let's all go over here. And and number and 88 come over here. James Bridges checks into the game. He's been a quality. Uh, receiver on uh, in moments like this. Let's see if they go to him. They're going to let the clock. Is the clock ticking over here? The, the clock is ticking. Yeah, so they're letting it run down to probably three seconds. And, and they're at five. They must four. have heard us. And it looks like they're going to take the penalty, Coach. Or is it a timeout? No, timeout took a timeout North again. North Shore timeout, North Shore Panthers 45, Salmon Spartans 14. All right, fourth down for the Panthers. Wildbacker complete, first down to Bridges. Like you said, quality guy keeps going, touchdown. He just kept going. <laughs> a lot of arm tackles and yep. a lot of James Bridges in the end zone well, right there. Coach, he's, he's a specimen, so you're not, you're not bringing him down with arm tackles. That much I can promise you. Nice pitch and catch right there. The, the goal was the first down, ended up with the touchdown, but that was mainly on the work of Mr. Bridges. Attention, attention, North Shore fans. The back gate and the You know Todd Bridges? Open, so when you exit, you can <laughs> I, I exit know who he is. What you talking about, Willis? That's what I'm saying, <laughs> Mr. Drummond. Here it comes. Bell Airy for the kick. And the queen keeps that's scoring. That's it. That's it. 
6-0-1 left in the fourth quarter. The score is North Shore Panthers 52 and Salmon Spartans 14. I'm sorry. Ethan Hanrahan has done this before in this game for sure. And there it goes. And right That's around the one-yard line. Here comes the return. And <laughs> shut down right there was Jacoby Jefferson. Coach, I'll tell you what, between the, the big return and the number of returns, he might be hitting close to the century mark on returns. The 21-yard line. <laughs> As we mentioned, when you kick her and you kick off returner on the opposite team, or two guys getting the amount of work that they're in, uh, they're going to need some ice, ice baths here. We're back on the field finally after it's first down. <laughs> this is where it's almost in slow motion here. Handoff, left side. Nice move, nice jump cut, but Back going to the right way. side. And then dump. That was Jacoby, Jacoby Jefferson, Jefferson on the carry. Coach, we got a beautiful turf they field out there. And all the players as quick as can be, but you'd swear that field's made out of sand with the way that these officials are moving. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah. I was uh, going to say, it's a day I don't know day who's at the moving beach. slower. It's just like a day at the beach. Well, the sun's about to come <laughs> up, true. I think. <laughs> That's true. A day daylight at the beach. Daylight at the beach. Dorsey. Cameron Dorsey. Handoff. Jacoby Jefferson. Left side. Steps out of one and the other and then bottled up by a group of Panthers. What is a group of Panthers? Can you Google that? <laughs> I'm sure we can. It's a. Uh, and that, the it wasn't. But it wasn't Jefferson. Take that back. It and was there's Christian a, Brown. I know this is going to surprise you, Coach, but there's another flag that's been thrown. I'm wanting flag to say, at this late in the game with the score, could we possibly put the flags back in? Our pants. My guess at this point is that that's going to be unsportsmanlike. Yes, it is. And it is. All right. Well, I mean, we can't let unsportsmanlike. Yeah, no, I would no, just say I, that. It, look, I, I know we've, uh, how can I say this, uh, been critical of the officiating in terms of, you know, hus uh, <laughs> being uh, timely. Timely, thank you. <laughs> Thank but, you. Uh, Thank you. I can't fault. I can't I was, fault that. I, I got a little tongue tied there. First down, ten. Clock is actually going to run now, which is good. And now, no, we have a timeout. No. And we do for North Shore. After I hope, which is the fourth and final time, or third and final timeout, handoff. Christian, Running. Christian Brown, coach. Christian Brown, not going very, very, very far, very soon, right there. Defense bottles him up. Chaz Major, number 90, uh, defensive lineman, sophomore, 6'3, 190. So he's going to be a specimen in time, coach. Got the youngsters out there now. Even Mr. Fugate has to come off the field. You've done your job, young man. Second down, eight. Brown trying to dance around. Oh, he's going to get dumped. Nice, uh, nice little jump cut to find some space initially for Mr. Brown right there. But uh, number 40, Sam Uceda, uh, the Scott Hall, Uceda. Yeah, Uceda. Is, is that who it is, Sam yeah. Uceda? Okay. Uceda and Scott Hall. On the tackle? On the tackle. Third and one. Third and one. 
Strap it on, young man. We're about to play ball. Simon looking to continue the drive. Brown running left side. Got a little room. Got a little speed. Woo. Tell he you had a little what. burst right yeah, there, that's didn't he? Right, that's right. Uh, a little burst around the end right there. Good blocking on that left side by the Salmon Spartans. Picked up the first down, moved the chains, and moved the clock. As it runs to two minutes and 55 seconds and counting. Kind of reminds me of the old Petticoat Junction. Everybody's moving like Uncle Joe. <laughs> kind of slow at the junction. I, I, I watched that show growing up, just so we're clear. <laughs> Boom. A big hit right there by the North Shore Panthers. Uh, number 40 uh, in the backfield, Samuel Brown, Seda the again. So doing a good job uh, out there, that young man. Going to bring up second and 11, two minutes and 10 seconds to go and counting. Clock is running, coach. Good news. That's the good news. <laughs> second down, 11. Motion. Hand off, Christian Brown, thrown down by Useda again. He's he's making an impact right now. Yeah, you man. said Useda again. I did, I did. Third and long now, third and 15. Useda, Useda. Third and 15, coach. Brown, left side, got a little speed, gonna make a first down. I tell you, I'm impressed by his little burst of speed once he hits that left side. And again, once again, good blocking on the left side by the Simon Spartan line. Once he gets, oh, no, once he gets to the Brown, corner, he yes. can, once he's able to plant that foot, as you like well, to say, yeah. boom. Yep. He, he, he's, he's got a second and third gear. He does, and he switches gears quick, coach. Like a Formula One driver. One minute and counting, coach. One minute and counting. Play action pass. Touchdown. Dorsey to Narcisse. Narcisse. Simone Narcisse. And uh, hey, look, he, he missed out on one earlier. He worked really hard and it was brought back by a holding call. So he just had to wait a little while before he could put that one in the bank, coach. Team coming out on some substitutions being made. Extra point team. Yeah, when they had the younger guys in there, they had to uh, run them off. So Baja Barakat to attempt the extra point. And the kick is up and looks pretty good 52 21 51 seconds left to go in this one it's been all panthers tonight here in north shore baja to kick it off and that little sky deep. kick that's a live ball coach. live ball better pick it up and run and he does trying to dance trying to get outside Trying to get around the end, that's not gonna happen. You're pulled down with 44 seconds to go in this one. And they stop the clock. Nice tackle right there in the open space, coach. Uh, not the easiest thing to do. North Shore has a bevy of athletes that are quite elusive. I gotta say, uh, quite a game tonight by uh, North Shore. They uh they're 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 gonna they're two and oh. They're two and oh and a legit got, two and oh coach. Legit and Hanville's coming here. That'll be an even bigger test than tonight. 
Hanville all look they bench press tractors down there in the river parishes so I'm sure that they're going to have some guys they're going to and when they climb off the bus you're going to know they're here to play football so right uh, I, I can tell you this though coach Sanders plays them one game at a time so he'll get them coached up and be looking forward to that challenge he'll have his guys ready to go I don't know I was I would say that he was probably he took a knee right there. Big victory formation, Coach. That is going to be ball game. 35 seconds to go and counting. So impressed, impressed with North Shore. Coach. Very, very impressed. And, uh, it, and again, if you're Salmon, you cut your chops tonight against a really good team. That's only going to be beneficial down the road when they get into district play. I agree. Agree. So we're going to close it out here with a thank you going out to people that brought you this game with. Superintendent, Mr. Frank Javia, uh, Director of Broadcasting, Dr. Melody Menard. Alongside me is Coach Jimmy Edmond. Upstairs, Dave the Rave Williams, Channel 13's Every Man, and closing it out, Charles Tiger Edwards. You are now leaving the pep zone.